Welcome to part two of the dozer. In the previous DVD, we made the high poly, and in this DVD, we're going to take you all the way from creating the low poly up into the bake, and this will be the final result of our DVD. So what we will be doing is, first of all, we're going to create the low poly in pieces, as you might remember in the dozer part one, we built this up in uh, several layers. So what we did, what we do is we create uh, the body separately, and I'm going to be showing you the best and most efficient ways to create uh, these low poly pieces. And we're just going to start building this up, creating more and more parts, such as the suspension, the ripper in the back. We're going to have the uh, blade mounts and the blade on there. And pretty much the same way as we did this for the high poly, but now just the low poly. And, uh, once we have all these pieces, what we're going to be doing next is the UVs for this bulldozer. So let me just show these to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the best way to create uh, complex UVs for a vehicle of this size. It's, uh, it's a very complicated thing. There are a lot of pieces in here. I'm going to show you how uh, you should go ahead and unwrap this thing and to keep things efficient. We'll also be working with a uh, 2 to 1 UV layout. So I'll be showing you how you tackle that. I'll be talking about the best ways to make use of the new Max 2012 UV tools. And as you can see here, also do some tricks that pertain to the baking with offsetting the UVs and everything. And uh, once we've done the UVs, for this baking, I'll be making use of material IDs and making separate selections. And what we want to try and do here is find an efficient and fast way to bake this bulldozer. We'll also be using this to render out some selection masks for future texturing. And eventually, what we'll be getting then, we're going to get a bake for the normal map. And that's what this looks like. So as you can see, this is the low poly version of the bulldozer, but we've got the normal map on there. And then, of course, we'll also be baking separate and uh, a few even ambient occlusion maps. So that's what the ambient occlusion map looks like. So I'm going to be showing the best way to do projection ambient occlusion map uh, baking, as well as a separate low poly ambient occlusion map bake. And uh, these are the final results of the bakes. There are a few together comped here, and you can see these textures. And also, interestingly, I'll be showing you a good way to do the textures for tracks like this. Um, they look a bit like this. These are the normal maps. And then on top of that, we've got the ambient occlusion map. And the fun thing about these things is I'll even show you how you can easily uh, create these so that they can be animated in game in the following way. So that's about it for this DVD. And um, I hope you'll learn something when you watch everything.